see. God wants us to enjoy life to full. One of the main reasons God wants to bless you is so you can be a channel of blessing to others. God primarily blesses you so that you can be a blessing to others. If you think you have money and your blessing is not reaching anybody, you are poor. Your blessing is meant to touch somebody else. You are not blessed by how much you have. You are blessed by how much you give. God will bless a man who is useful to him than a man who is not useful. We are going to the airport. I told my peer. If, for instance, we do what we do, giving out food in, in church and all of that, and it takes us a lot of sacrifice to do it. Now, imagine if somebody has been praying to have food to eat for three days. Let's say there are five persons praying. What will I eat? What will I eat? And you made yourself available to provide food. Do you know what has happened? You have become an answered prayer to that person. It means God can trust you enough to answer people's so that God will not stress himself. When God wants to bless people, he doesn't come. He will look for vessels that he can trust and pass through to bless people. So if you have money, listen, if you have money, don't think that your money is for you. You are only a channel. And you can be a, you can be more channel of bless if you understand the principle of prosperity. You don't chase money. You attract money. Those of you chasing money, stop chasing money. Wake up with the money. Where are you going to? You have not prayed. You have not done anything. You just wake up. You have not sought the face of God. Inside, you are inside the very good. Where is there? They go about. You reach about. You don't be the select. They don't select where you go sell. It's a very good idea. It's a potato card. You enter. You don't open shop. Money tonight. You not sell. So stop chasing money. Money is supposed to serve you. You are not supposed to serve money. You are doing what you are doing because of money. That's not God's perspective about prosperity. God's perspective of prosperity is that you attract it. You attract prosperity. How? God said, look at the law of multiplication. There is a law of multiplication. Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure. Press down. Running over. Shall men give into your bosom. For with the same measure that ye met with her, it shall be measured to you again. Bible did say receive and you shall be given. Bible say give and you shall receive. It is more blessed to give than to receive. If you are always in the position of receiving, you can't prosper like that. Too. It is better to always be in the position where you give. So anybody who is a giver in the eyes of God is more blessed than the one who is always receiving. There are people that all their life is received. Give me. Anywhere they do something, you go. You are there. You are supposed to be a distributor and not a collector. Anytime you give, you are doing yourself a big time favor. You are not doing the receiver a favor. You are doing yourself a favor. I pray for you. May God put you in the position of a giver. Prosperity means a state of affluence, success profitability, plenty, security, and comfort. Scarcity means famine, season of extreme lack. But you know that whatever it will take for you to succeed, to prosper here on earth, has been settled already. It's not there trying to prepare it. It has already been settled. He has already given you the life of luxury. He has already given you the life of whatever that will make you settle in life. He has already given it to you. It's just for you to key into it. So scarcity is allowed. Famine is allowed. But the truth is we are God's children and will surely prosper. So even in the midst of darkness, which is scarcity, which is poverty, which is lack, which is stagnation, he said because we are the light, which is prosperity, said we will shine. So if you want to enjoy prosperity, you want to enjoy surplus in this season of scarcity, you must concentrate, you must pay attention to your words. You must pay attention to the things you meditate on. The psalmist said, let my words and the meditation of my heart be acceptable before your sight. God has given us prosperity. He has given us the blessing. He has prospered us already. But he wants our word to be aligned with his plan. He wants our word to say yes to his purpose towards us. So you can only get that plan. You can make that plan come to pass when your words and your meditation are right before him. God wants you to make him your father and your master. Like there are some things you talk to your earthly father about, you cannot talk to an, a stranger. There are some things you get from your master, you cannot get it from a stranger. Hallelujah. God wants you to see him in this season as your father and as your master. If you're serving someone who is your master, you don't care about how the Nepa bee is being paid. It's none of your business, right? It's none of your business. Whether there's water, how they buy water, how they provide food for you. This 
is none of your business because you are there to serve and it's his responsibility to provide those things. So God wants us to have that kind of mentality here on earth where you live life knowing that God is the master. He's the one that will provide shelter. He's the one that will provide help for you. Just imagine uh, my son begin, uh, begin to think for us like how my school fees be paid. How are we going to eat? Their own is just to demand. Their own is to demand because they know it is our responsibility to give them what they want. So it's God's responsibility to give you what you want. So his source can never run dry. No matter how high the economy is, no matter how high dollar is, his source can never run dry. You know, when it comes to prosperity, when is the time to talk about prosperity in the house of the Lord? So people feel it is not right. Or we are erring against God or we are backsliding. I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thou so prosper it. So it is God's plan for you to prosper. We want you to prosper. We want you to, to understand the good health. God wants you to be strong. Even at the age of 100, he wants you to make use of your feet. He wants you to make use of your legs. He wants you to make use of your eyes. I stand on this altar in the weight of my oil I prophesy every evil eye Monitoring how your life is going. Holy Ghost! But I pray for somebody here. Your life will still be on track. If you want to stand out, be outstanding. When principles are weak, influence will be weak. Integrity attracts integrity. To become a principal person in life, you must be a person of strong principles. This event will be streamed on all our social media platforms.
you do nothing else for Pastor Grego, you have done enough. For if you do nothing else for PC and Church, you have done enough. For if you do nothing else for me, all, you have done enough. Enough. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Somebody pray in the Holy Ghost. Somebody pray in the Holy Ghost. Can you connect your hand to somebody? Pray in the Holy Ghost. Connect your hand to somebody and pray in the Holy Ghost. Connect your hand to somebody. Thank you, Jesus. Let me hear you pray. I want to give you two minutes to pour your hearts to God. Now, use this opportunity and say, God, change my story in this service. I need a change. I need a touch. I need... to God in the highest Holy Ghost talk to me I want to hear your voice today this could be the prayer of somebody right now and I think it should be your prayer that the Spirit of God will speak to you tonight welcome to Global Midnight Prayer Network this is your place of answer and your place of solution my name is Greg Vincent and I'm your pastor, I'm your host, I'm your priest, I'm your saint man on this global altar of fire and solution. The Bible said at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and they sang and the prisoners heard them. And suddenly there was an earthquake. The Bible said the foundation of the building was shaken and all the prison doors began to open. All the prison doors began to open. Tonight... As we engage on this global altar of fire, all the doors that has been shut against you, we open in the name of Jesus. And God will give you a miracle. God will open doors for you. God will give you a breakthrough. God will give you a testimony in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God bless you for joining us. Please, as our routine demands on this altar, once you have been able to connect, Help your friends to join by sharing the link on your status. Share the link on your WhatsApp status. Share the link on your, on your Facebook. Anywhere you know you are connecting from, please, I would like you to use the share, to use the share button. Hallelujah. I want you to use the share button wherever you are. Just open, just uh, share, copy the link and uh, share. Copy the link and share. Hallelujah. Copy the link and share with somebody tonight. Praise the Lord. Post it on your WhatsApp groups. All the WhatsApp groups you belong to, I would like you to, you know, post it right there. Post it right there, wherever you are. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. 
The Lord bless you. Wake somebody up and encourage them to join the prayers this night. Wake your friends, wake your family, wake your brothers, wake your sisters. Hallelujah. And let us, let us pray. Let us pray. You cannot over pray. You cannot under pray. That's why the Bible says pray in season and out of season. When it is, uh, when it is convenient, pray. When it is not convenient, pray. In fact, when you don't feel like praying, is the time you should pray the most. Hallelujah. So God bless you as you help others to connect. You do data for them. You are being a part of their life. Amen. Imagine somebody that finds it difficult to pray at night. And through you, the person's prayer life has been revived. He will thank you. And this is what has happened on this altar. A lot of people's prayer life is being revived. Amen. You don't know what it means to pray at night. Anybody that can wake up and pray every night. My dear, I'm telling you, you may not be seeing the result immediately. But if you are consistent, you will see that along the line, there will be changes in your life. You know, I met someone uh, recently who told me that uh, she used to join the midnight prayer. But she noticed that ever since she joined the midnight prayer, she has been seeing a lot of changes. That there were some money that people owe her. You know, they refused to pay her. That the first week she joined completely, as in sincerely from her heart, she decided to pray. Those people started paying up her, their, their debts, you know, and a whole lot of things started changing around her. And she noticed, listen, this world is very spiritual. I wish I can say it again for somebody to understand. This world is very deep, is very spiritual, that you cannot, you cannot be living in a spiritual world with a carnal strength. You need prayer. You will find out that there is an energy, there is a spiritual energy that comes upon a man when he begins to understand the power of prayer. That is why on this altar, I believe God sent me and gave me the ability to wake up every night. Because it's not easy to wake up every night to pray. It's not easy. Anybody that, any pastor that, you know, you see is a special grace. God inside should do early morning prayers, 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock. Amen. God specifically said, go and do midnight prayer. I am not the only pastor that does midnight prayer, but there is a difference. There is a difference because God sent me here for an assignment. Glory to God. So quickly before we go into prayers, listen to this information. It will help you. Um, we are going to be praying with fragrance just this night and then we are going to praise God. Two things we'll be doing this night. We are going to be, I'm going to be using your fragrance to pray. And then I am going to also, uh, we are going to be praising God. We'll, we'll spend time, like at least 10 to 15 minutes to praise God. Hallelujah. You are going to praise God. There is a whole lot. What prayer cannot do, praise can do. Prayer can attract, you know, prayer can, can uh, move, can, uh, prayer can bring answers. Are you listening to me? But what moves God most is praise amen so tonight i want you to get your a praising shoe your dancing shoe ready i'm going to play a song at the end of the prayer and i want you to dance to it i want you to see your miracle and your blessing and praise god in advance for them meanwhile if you have not registered for lagos uh jesus night of miracles if you have not registered for Lagos Jesus Night of Miracles, I will want you to go and register now. Go and register now. Hallelujah. If you have not registered, go and register now. If you are on our, uh, our WhatsApp channel, go to the WhatsApp channel and you will see I have dropped, ju just dropped the link. If you know somebody that needs to attend the program in Lagos this coming Friday, next week Friday, also send them, if you are on our WhatsApp platform, uh, WhatsApp channel, and you can see me post it, you can just indicate by liking it, all right? Put an emoji to it that you have seen it. Amen. So you can also uh, register.
Praise the name of Jesus Christ. If you have not registered, register. I'm coming to Lagos uh, on Friday next week for Lagos Jesus Night of Miracle. And um, please, it is important. The venue again is Novel House. Novel House is located at Ikeja. All right, Ikeja, uh, close to Ghani Fayemi Library. And it's not far from Corporate Affairs Commission. So these are just the landmark for you to locate Novel House. 7 p.m. till dawn. I'm going to print a t-shirt for everybody that night. So if you are 100 persons that have registered, all right, you have a t-shirt. It's a free t-shirt I'm coming with by the grace of God. Hallelujah. Free t-shirt for everybody. So we'll all just be on uniform that night. There is, there's an anointing that comes with uniformity. And I, I believe that so strongly. Praise the Lord. So get yourself ready. We are not just coming. It's not an all night. It's not another all night. We will pray. We will pray. I'm coming prepared as God will help me. Amen. God is sending me to you. And right now, I am in Asaba. As I talk to you, I am talking to you from Asaba. This is to the benefit of those that are in Asaba as I talk. If you are in Asaba, I want you to make sure that you do not miss the service this morning by 8 a.m. Find your way down to Nolge House, Commandant Street, back of NTA, behind Access Bank, off Opanam Road. All right, Nolge House, Commandant Street, back of NTA, behind Access Bank, off Opanam Road. And I told you yesterday, dress in your, you know, put a touch of white while you are coming. All right, encourage your friends to join you. Encourage your brothers to join you. Encourage your family members to join you. I am going to take my time to call out specific cases. All right? Those believing God for the fruit of the womb, I'm going to pray for you. You're believing God for marital breakthrough, I'm going to pray for you. You are experiencing one issue or the other. You are sick, you know, and you want God to heal you. I will also trust the Lord together with you, and we are going to pray today amen so it is super sunday don't miss out i believe that today god has something spe specific or special for you now if you live in sapele i'm coming to sapele on thursday 25th not this coming thursday upper thursday i am going to be in sapele for sapele thursday super thursday it is going to be a thursday that you will not forget all my sons and daughters in Sapele, Mosoga, Jesse, if you are in worry and you think you can make it, please, the registration link will drop by Monday so that you can also partake of uh, Sapele Super Thursday. Hallelujah. God bless you. Other information will be coming up uh, anytime at the end of the order during the prayers. But tonight we are going to be praying against the spirit of affliction. That's the direction God wants us to take tonight. The spirit of affliction. If you have not shared the link, I would like you to go down, go to the, come back, go to the, uh, this thing, copy the link and post it on your status. If you are following me on Facebook, do the same thing. Don't like the, 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 the live video and share. Like it and share it. Hallelujah. We are going to be talking about looking at Prayer points against the spirit of affliction. I will read the book of Job, chapter 36, verse 15. Job, chapter 36, verse 15. Bible says, He delivered the poor in his affliction. He delivered the poor in his affliction and opened their eyes in oppression, their ears rather, in oppression. He delivered the poor in his affliction and open it their ears in oppression. Now, the spirit of affliction is a very bad example. Very bad example it is from the devil, you know, to paralyze people's destiny. And this spirit of affliction has actually become a long time battle for many Christians. A lot of Christians are suffering and smiling. You know, I we are in a generation where a lot of people are coming up with different kind of revelation. I'm a born again child of God, but I have my systems of belief. 
Are you listening to me? There are several questions. I know God for myself and I'm telling you based on the God I know. Are you listening to me right now? A lot of people confuse, with, confuse Christianity. Christianity is not a religion. Christianity is a lifestyle. Christianity is the life of God that is lived here on earth. That's Christianity. There are, there are different phases, face rather, to Christianity. And if you don't understand your state or your personality as a believer, you will come under satanic afflictions. And that is why today we have many pe people are confused, Christians are confused. If I'm a child of God, why am I still sick? If I'm a child of God, why am I still poor? If I'm a child of God, you know, is it that God is wicked? Why am I praying this long? You know, and, and the enemy is still attacking me. Why would they not? You know, someone called me. I was complaining bitterly. He said, that yeah, they pray every night, every night. But the more I pray, the more things get bad for me. Is it that God is not answering prayer? Is it that God does not answer prayer or what? You understand what I'm saying? You know, a lot of believers are going through things, so battles. Somebody hearing my voice this night, you understand what I'm talking about? Battles, battles, battles. And now hear this. Christianity does not offer us a life without fight. A life without battles. In fact, what makes Christianity Christianity is a life of victory. And you cannot have victory without a fight. They keep, you know, let me talk, talk about it, affliction. Many Christians keep fighting one problem over and over. There are people that their problem is, you know, they are fighting depression. Some people are fighting disappointment. Some people are fighting delay. Some people are fighting one problem or the other. Sometimes whenever the situation subsides, another challenge will take over. Repeated issues, circle of problems, circle of affliction. That's why a lot of believers are, you know, they are tired of praying. You see, there are people who will tell you, hey, they don't go join prayer. I say, I don't tire. Some people are tired of praying. Some people are tired of fasting. And some end up landing themselves in the hands of strange people because they need solution. They need, and people take advantage of them. They need answers. A young man told me that they have been praying and praying and praying and praying and praying, please. And then I went to see a native doctor. I said, okay, what happened? Was it that God was going to answer your prayer? I said, I don't know. But I needed solution. You understand? And at the end, the devil takes advantage of them. There is hardly any area of life that has not received any affliction of the wicked. Hardly. Bible says many are the afflictions of the righteous. Do you see that? Christianity is not void of affliction, no. Christianity is not void of battles. Many are the afflictions. So when you become a Christian, be ready for affliction. Many are the affliction of the righteous, but the Lord delivered them all. Do you understand what that Bible So It doesn't matter the kind of affliction the enemy brings against you as a Christian. It doesn't matter the kind of battles that you face. There is a guarantee for victory. Oh my God. There is a, there is a guarantee. There is a 100% guarantee. That is the reason why Jesus went to the cross to die on the cross. Bible says he died on the cross. He was buried. He resurrected. He gave us the key. The key. The key of victory. Hallelujah. So the spirit of affliction constitutes what we call hardship. Anybody that is afflicted with the spirit of, uh, that is being afflicted, one of the signs of affliction is hardship. Hardship. Troubles. You see the person struggling. People are struggling. People are struggling. Two brothers went out. Let me tell you, they are both going to one, one spirit is just pushing them. One spirit will drop the pushing them into problem, 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 enter problem, enter trouble. Two brothers left their house. They just said, let me, oh boy, follow, escort, escort me, make a buy soap for front. Immediately they came out of their house. Some group of policemen just came, came there. They were looking for people. They, were looking for people. they caught the two of them. That did not do anything. Caught the two of them. 
and they say they are the ones that cause the problem that they this, this they are the boys and all of that he says sir we don't know anything no we just didn't come out from our house so we don't know anything that's how they uncuffed the guys took them to the police station charge them to court and they are in prison as i talk to you now they're in prison people that they don't know anything they don't even know anything that's the spirit of affliction no the moment you determine to be a righteous person the spirit of affliction will become brutal the more you are born again the more the enemy that will trouble you this is bitter truth this is bitter truth are you listening to me but the more affliction you face, the greater the glory of God. Ah, the more affliction, the more affliction the you greater, face, the, the greater glory of God, the glory of God in your life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But that's what the Bible said in the book of James, chapter 5, verse 13. Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. That is why we are on this altar. There are many persons who have been afflicted with sickness. You look at your life. This is not how God created you. God did not create you with fibroid. God did not create you with HIV. God did not create you with, with uh, that disease. God did not create you with sickness. You were not born with high blood pressure. The enemy afflicted you. The enemy afflicted you. But Bible said, is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Let him pray. Let him pray. Is any making merry? Let him sing psalms. Are you listening to me right now? So, the passage is a cry for those who are afflicted that they should pray more. If you have been afflicted, you don't go, go and be sleeping. There are people that are going through hardship. You know it's an affliction. The enemy is afflicting your hair, afflicting your health. You can't get yourself. You can't get yourself. Bible says, if you're afflicted, pray more. Is a cry for prayer. Is any afflicted? Let him pray. Let him pray, not sleep. Let him pray. You wake up and challenge that disease in your body. There's an authority God has given to you. You wake up in the night and say, Ah, let me tell you this. The enemy afflicted me. I'm your pastor. I know they lie, put. I was afflicted. When I mean afflicted, I was afflicted with sickness. You know, some months ago, I started having issues with my health. The devil afflicted. He came. He came very strong. Very strong. I mean very strong. My blood pressure was 170 something, going to 180. My blood pressure was very high. Very high. So I went to a scan. And then the doctor said that um, I had heart enlargement. And it's not just the normal pulmonary heart enlargement. It was a severe case. It, the doctor was shouting, what are you doing to yourself? What are you doing to yourself? This is what makes people sleep and they don't wake up. Sir, the devil came heavily on me, afflicted me. You know, sometimes I'll be breathing up, 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 up. One day I was, you know, I was in the house. And then uh, I think I was trying to, you know, correct that the children. That, okay, I was talking to my wife. Bam, I collapsed in the house. And my wife was was very scared because I wasn't myself. The enemy, when I mean the devil came for me. That's what I'm telling you. Bible said the many are the affliction of the righteous, but the Lord delivered them. One day I woke up, I said, Devil, you are a liar. You are, I will not, because you know, the Satan was telling you, see, now you will die quick. You, you will die your own your time as Satan was ministering to me. See your blood pressure. If you sleep, you know, wake up. You understand what I'm saying? But I told you that I said, You are a liar. You are a liar. I have a destiny to fulfill. There are people God has attached to my life that I can't afford to die. Satan, you lie. Is anyone afflicted? Let him pray, not let him sleep. Let him pray. I woke up one day. Woke up one day. I said, Satan, you lie. You spirit of affliction, you Satan that came to my body, your time has come. Pack your load and go. Pack your load and go. I was angry. You know, there is this level you get angry in your spirit. Satan doesn't even have an option. Some of us, some of us, you never pray. You have, not, you have never been angry in your spirit. 
you are just doing prayer anyhow. There is a kind of prayer you do when you are angry in your spirit. Even Satan will get the signal and he will pack himself and pack his, pack his load and leave you. I am telling you. He will pack his load. It's not this one that we are doing. Some of us, when we are praying on this altar, some people will be sleeping. They will just on their radio and sleep off. You have not been afflicted. You have not been afflicted to a level where you say, ah, ah, you are seeing death, you are seeing life. And the only option you have is to pray. I say, Satan, you lie. I, I, I prayed my heart. I, I prayed my heart. And then I went back to the doctor and said, doctor, check my blood pressure. My blood pressure was normal. Everything was normal. From that day, I confronted that devil till today. My blood pressure is normal. I used to travel with my, my, my uh, machine. Now I don't travel with it. Normal. 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 I went to scan. The doctor said, ah, the heart is okay. Everything is okay. Because you can't afford. Listen, you can't have the instrument of, I'm sorry I'm your time. But I feel a burden in my spirit. There are a lot of people are afflicted. You notice that in your life, there is so much disappointment. So much disappointment. Maritally, not in the work. You, you enter a relationship. Before you know it, they accuse you that you have a spirit or banjay spirit. That you are the reason why they are not prospering. There's a girl listening to me right now. That has been your story. Your story is that when you enter a relationship, they will accuse you that you have this uh, Obanje spirit, that you are the reason why they are not prospering. You are the reason why things are going wrong in their life. And you are listening to me right now. My dear, wake up. It is not about anybody. It's about your life. And when the day you decided, you decide in your heart and say, Satan, you don't, you don't do. Enough is enough. I am telling you that day, that day, Satan does not have an option. He is on his heels when the believer is on his knees. And it is my prayer. If you are in a Sabbath, join me this morning. Join me this morning. Join me this morning. There's a kind of level you enter into in prayer. Eh? <laughs> my God. There is, a, there is a level, there is a dimension of prayer you enter. Satan will just run. He will pack his load and live your life. He will pack his load and live your life. Some person, the problem you have is that you, you, are, you are going to hardship. I'm sorry I'm taking my time. I will just lead like four prayer points. We will praise God this night. But forgive me. I'm, I know I'm talking to somebody. Forgive me. Are you listening to me right now? Some is hardship. You're going through so much pain. So much pain. All your friends are making it except you. Sometimes you ask yourself a question. Not be the same God all of us they serve. Not be, not be the same God all of us they serve. All your friends are getting married. When it gets to your own tongue, there's a problem. There's a problem. Promise and fail everywhere. Disappointment everywhere. Delay, fool, everywhere. People promise you. If they gather all the promises that people, that people make for you, you'll be a billionaire. But why? What is the hap what's happening? Unto us is open great and effectual doors. But Bible said there are many afflictions, many afflicted, many affliction, many, many affliction of the righteous. This morning I want you to take the following prayers, and I don't want you to joke with prayer. Rise up! I will lead you in five prayer points. And I am going to listen to me. If you are following me, say I'm here, sir. Go to the comment section and, and let me know. Say, Daddy, I am here. Write it on the comment section. Daddy, I am here. And please, tonight, follow me with these five prayer points. I will raise five, only five prayer points. And then, I am going to pray. So, we are going to dance. We will dance. I will play a song. We will dance. And then... I will pray on your fragrance and they will close. I am in Asaba. So in the morning, I'll be in Asaba church. I want to see if you're in Asaba. If you have a family that is around with you, tell them to come. Let me lay hands on them. Even myself, I tire for some people. When I read people's uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, prayer points, it thing gets me. It makes me to want to pray more. It makes me to want to intercede the more. 
wherever you are, lift your voice and begin to bless the Lord. Begin to bless the Lord. Begin to appreciate him wherever you are. Everybody, you are under the influence of my voice. Begin to bless the name of the Lord. Begin to appreciate him and say, God, thank you because you are God. You are God. I thank you because you are God. You are not a man. Thank you, Jesus, because you are God. You are not a man. You are not a man. I will appreciate you. I appreciate you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, because you are all powerful. Thank you, Jesus, because you are God. Thank you, Jesus. You are my creator. You are my maker. Thank you, Jesus. Open your mouth, everyone. Begin to appreciate God. Let it come from your heart tonight. Father, I thank you. You are my maker. You are my creator. You are my maker. Oh, Sharabokaya. Mese fran de koshabralia. Vika pron de sefrali gataya. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For your mercy that has prevailed, always prevailed in my life. I thank you, Lord. 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 E rabakurata la sukata. Rika poto rigate. Eziga baramando rika baratia. Reko basheketelia. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you for your blessings. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for your grace. Rako baria tozi. Rande kaba. De Libra Catolia, Rica Poria Taskea, Redecoli Daranando Skede, Rica Bado Sharabande, Mambre Catalia Gosha, Reketo Zigaradiande, Matesco Varaya. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you will lift your voice wherever you are and say after me, This is the first prayer point. Say after me, Say, My Father, my Maker. As I begin to pray now, every spirit of affliction rising up against me from my father's house, from my mother's house, I pull you down now by fire. Spirit of affliction rising up against me from my father's house, from my mother's house, in the name of Jesus, die by fire, die by fire, die by fire. Open your mouth and pray. Every spirit of affliction rising up against me from my father's house, every spirit of affliction rising up against me from my mother's house, what are you waiting for? I command you to die by fire. I command you to die by fire. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Mate subaka boricata. Ezika barakate. Zonge di alamon de gede. Iprande ke de geloko baragandia. Ezukarama koria kate. Errege de geton bregadia. Iskabron de legade. Iekeke konde li bragadia. Rukapande di agata. Every spirit of affliction from my father's house from my mother's house in the name of Jesus die by fire die by fire die by fire die by fire open your mouth and pray open your mouth and pray mande librondia i kabarotesia reketele makobrakatia erande ketolia in Jesus name we pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Lift your voice wherever you are and say after me, say, my father, as I begin to pray, every mountain of affliction before my destiny, every mountain of affliction before my life, as I begin to pray, scatter by fire, scatter by fire, mountains of affliction in my life, scatter by fire, in the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and pray, open your mouth now, begin to pray, begin to pray, mountain of affliction, mountain of affliction, le kobaradea sonde, mandraba kobalakandia, Mountain of affliction, die by fire. Mountain of affliction, mountain of affliction, scatter by fire. Mountain of afflictions in my life, scatter by fire. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Every mountain of affliction, scatter by fire. 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 Scatter by
by fire, scatter by fire, scatter by fire, scatter by fire, mountain of affliction, Ika Paramada, Ivekuradia, Eregetolia, Zobogodoliantia, Eakatolegade, Regetele Kuata, Mandragatosia, Ivigaragadoa, Reketelegade, Reketelegedua, Rakapakatoa, Giamakata, Regetelegade, Mountain of Affliction, Scatter by Fire, 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 in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are going to open your mouth wherever you are. This is the third prayer point you are going to take. You are going to say afflictions upon my life. Every afflictions upon my life. Scatter now. My, every kind of affliction. You know, there's somebody listening to me right now. You are being afflicted with childlessness. You are being afflicted with childlessness. I'm, I am in Asaba. And I'm going to meet with you for those of us in Asaba. Don't miss out. Gather your friends and your family. There's a woman you have been afflicted with childlessness. Sometimes, you know, you, you feel somehow coming out. You know, because of the way people look at you. You know, it's not your fault, madam. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. There's something is happening to you. It's not like you are the person I'm talking to. You, you, you used to take in. When you take in, the, before you know it, the baby will flush out. And the doctors have given different names. Madam, if God has called me, you will carry your baby. Please write to this down. The person I'm talking to, eh? you will carry your, believe what I'm, I am not telling you what I don't know. I want you to follow me. You will carry your baby. You were not created to be childless. It was, it's not part of your destiny. Are you listening to me? It's not, it's not part of your destiny that you will get married and don't have a child. You will carry your own child. You, the person I'm talking to, you will carry your own child. Because you have suffered. You have suffered shame. You have suffered rejection. In fact, the, the look of people, the way people, the look of people's face, when you see them, makes you cry. But the Lord said, I should tell you, he will take away the pain. He will take away the pain in the mighty name of Jesus. Lift your voice wherever you want and say after me. Say, my father, my father, as I begin to pray now, every power programming affliction into my life, every power programming affliction into my life what are you waiting for die by fire die by fire die by fire in the name of jesus open your mouth and pray open your every power from my father's house from my mother's house programming afflictions into my life in the name of jesus die by fire die by fire die by fire die by fire lift your voice and pray open your mouth and pray every power programming afflictions into my life every power programming afflictions into my life die by fire 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 in the name of jesus open your mouth and pray open your mouth and pray litarosh kababa reketele bragadia rokotole gadia Rakatala bagada, reketele bregede, rabako barabakata, yeketele gede gede, rakatolia bagada, rekapatoria kata, esuba baba baba, eketon de legede, eketon de legede, rakaboria kata, yakwatala makwata, ezegede legede gede, rakapakoria kata. In Jesus' name we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are going to open your mouth and pray. That every arrow of affliction that has been fired into your life, let it return back to sender. This is the fourth prayer point. Open your mouth, say after me. Say, my father, my father. As please stand up wherever you are. If you are sitting down, rise up. Say, my father, my father. As I begin to pray now, every arrow of affliction fired into my body, fired into my life, every arrow of affliction fired into my life, back to sender, back to sender, back to sender, back to sender. Open your mouth and pray now. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Mouth and pray. Every arrow of affliction fired into my life, arrow of 
affliction. Fire it to my body. Back to sender. Back to sender. Back to sender. Arrow of affliction. Fire it to my womb. Arrow of affliction. Fire it to my business. Back to sender. Back to sender. Back to sender. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Back to sender. Back to sender. Back to sender. Arrows of affliction. Arrows of affliction. Somebody take your, open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. That arrow of affliction fired into your leg, fired into your mind, fired into your brain. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. Back to sender. 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 Rabako Baradea. Rekete legedegede. Rika Patoliande. Rubakatosha. Rekete lebregede. Ramaton Zigadea. Ruka Papa Pataya. Robodo Bokondea. Rika Pakatea. Regede legedosha. Mande Kubalandia. Rakaponde legede. Rekete lebragadia. Ruka Pakatolia. Rekete lebragada. Rokotoria Bakata. Ramaton de de de. Rekete legede. In Jesus name we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus. There is somebody listening to me. Let me tell you what's going on with you. There is a lady. You are 37. You are listening to me now. The affliction in your life is the affliction of marital delay. Now, you don't have issues with men. Men come into your life. But you have always had the wrong people come into your life. We are going to take the last prayer. This person I'm talking to specifically, your age is 37. I will use you. I will speak over your life now. Every other person that is in your category, God will reach out to them. Now, this person, listen to me. What's going on in your life now? You have wondered, why is it that there's only married women, sorry, married men that come into my life? Men come. You don't have problem with money. Your problem is not money. But right now, the right person, the right people, men, married people, now married people, plenty married people, now they come. Anybody welcome, now married man. Anybody welcome, now married man. The affliction is the affliction of marital delay. But if I be a man of God, if God has ever answered my prayer, if there is any oil on my head, I prophesy that affliction is over. I declare that affliction is over. That affliction, anyone under any form of affliction, tonight the affliction is over. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we are going to take the next prayer point, which is the last one. You are going to open your mouth and declare that any spirit of affliction causing me backwardness in life, in the name of Jesus, spirit of affliction, bringing me back when I should be going back forward, taking me backward when I should be going forward. That spirit I confront you, die by fire. You will take this prayer now and we are going to dance. I want us to dance. Lift your voice, say, my father, my father, as I begin to pray, every spirit of affliction causing me backwardness, causing me backwardness in my life, die by fire 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 lift your voice and pray open your mouth and pray wherever you are in the name of jesus in the name of jesus every spirit of affliction causing me backwardness causing me backwardness die by fire 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 in the name of jesus christ i decree and i declare wherever you are by the mighty hand of god every form of affliction in your life is over in the mighty name of jesus christ in the victorious name of jesus now everybody hear me follow my prophetic instruction get your fragrance ready I'm going to play a song and I just have about seven or eight minutes. I want us to dance. 
I want you to dance in such a way that as you are dancing, see your breakthrough, see your blessing, see it ahead. Dance into your the way you will dance when you get the good news. That's how I want you to dance. I want you to dance. Don't look at any. Of course, nobody is seeing you this night. So dance in your house. Dance the way you will dance when your miracle happens. Dance the way you will dance when you when you discover that you are pregnant. Dance the way you will dance the day you give birth to that child. Dance the way you will dance on your wedding day. Dance the way you will dance when you finally see that alert. I am going to come back. About five minutes or so. I'm going to play the song now. And then everybody dance. Five minutes I'll be... I'm here. Of course, I'm dancing with you. So, we'll round up with the fragrance. Are you ready? All right, let's go. Let's go, let's go. If you can hear me on this on Instagram, if you can hear me on Instagram, just indicate this is how loud my song can go today. Beyond to the Lord.
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, hear me. We are going to continue the dance. So, I will instruct you to continue after now. Are you listening to me? But bring out your fragrance. Let me round up. Bring out your fragrance wherever you are. Bring out your fragrance. If you have your fragrance, just go to the comment section and let me know that I, you have your fragrance. Oh, Daddy, I have my fragrance. I have my fragrance. Go to the comment section. I have my fragrance. I have my four prayer points. I have my fragrance. I have my four prayer points. Go to the comment section. I'm going to pray. I'm going to speak a word now. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. All right. For those that have their fragrance, I'm going to pray. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, le shobako baradias. Now, raise it up. Let me pray. I'll just say a word of prayer. In the name of Jesus. I ask that the Spirit of God will come upon that fragrance. I ask that the Spirit of God will breathe upon the fragrance in your hands. In the name of Jesus. Let the Spirit of God breathe upon the fragrance. The Spirit of God breathe upon the fragrance. The Spirit of God breathe upon the fragrance. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare that as you use the fragrance, favor will follow you. Favor will follow you. Testimonies will be heard about you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Raise your four prayer points. Raise your four prayer points. In the mighty name of Jesus. I don't know what you have written, but I ask so God that whatever it is you have written, let it be confirmed into testimonies. Let it be confirmed into testimonies. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name. Now, if you are listening to me wherever you are, you can join me on any of the visual platforms as I pray for you. If you are sick, you still feel sick in your body, you, you are believing God for fruit of the womb, you are believing God for marital breakthrough, you know, financial breakthrough, please, I would like you to join me. All my sons and daughters abroad, you can join me on Instagram. Hallelujah. Ero Baba Baba Shanda. Yes, so mm. please join me now on any of the visual platform. As you join, connect your eyes. I'm rounding up right about now. Hallelujah. I just want to pray. If you're sick in your body, go to the go to Instagram and join me on Instagram. Join me on Instagram. You're sick in your body. Put your hand wherever you are sick. God is going to touch you. Yes, you are believing God for fruit of the womb. I will pray for you now. God will touch you. God will touch you quickly, quickly. Rush down to any of the visual platforms. Rush down to any of the visual platforms. Once we have 500, I am going to begin to pray. On Instagram, once we have 500, I'll begin to pray. This is 496. So rush down. If you're on Instagram, this is 507, 518, 522, 524. All right, once we are, okay, let me make it six. I'll pray now. I'll pray 600, 529. Fix your eyes on my eyes. I'm waiting for a few persons to come up. All right, 544 on Instagram. Thank you, Jesus. 550. So we have 50 to go. 556, 561. Join me on, the, on Instagram. Once we are 600, I will speak a word. 573. 577 join me join me quickly as you are connecting fix your eyes god will touch you god will touch you god will touch you yes i'm going to pray now put your hand anywhere you are sick anywhere you are sick anywhere you are sick put your hand there fix your just touch anywhere you are sick as i pray god will heal you now all right in the name of Jesus. I don't know the illness in your body, but at the count of seven. At the count of seven, I command that sickness to disappear. That pain. I don't know where it's coming from. I don't care to know. But I know there is a name that is bigger than that disease. I know there is a name bigger than that challenge. In the name of Jesus. At the count of seven, 
Let that disease, let that pain, let that sickness disappear from your body. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I decree that disease is out of your body. That pain is gone in the name of Jesus. I challenge that pain, that sickness from the root. In the mighty name of Jesus. I command that disease to dry off in the name of Jesus. That infection on your body. Dry up in the name of Jesus. I declare healing. Total healing. Total healing. Total healing. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now I pray for you. Wherever you are. You are believing God for the fruit of the womb. I command right now. Carry your children. Your womb is open. Your womb is open. Every cost of barrenness is hereby broken. And every affliction of barrenness is over in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will carry your baby by the power of the Holy Ghost. You will carry your baby in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray for all pregnant women. If you are pregnant, I cover you with the blood of Jesus. I cover your baby with the blood of Jesus. At the time that is required, you will give birth without stress. Your bundle of joy will comfort without, without stress. In the mighty name of Jesus, I hide you under the blood of Jesus, the blood of the covenant, in Jesus' name. Now I pray for everyone believing God for marital breakthrough. Every cause of marital delay over your life is broken now. I prophesy and I decree celebration upon your life. Celebration in your family. Marital celebration in your family. I command that I declare the right people will come your way. The right people will begin to come your way. The right people will begin to come your way. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. All businesses, business professional, I want to kneel down as I speak over your life now. By the hand of God, I declare your businesses to prosper. I declare the hand of God upon your life, upon your business, in the mighty name of Jesus. Upon your profession, I declare favor, favor, increase in Jesus' name, I pray. I pray for all my sons and daughters abroad. Wherever you are, I declare let the mighty hand of God come upon you and say to you, say to you, wherever you are, I declare help us your way. Destiny help us your way. Destiny help us your way. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Bring out your ATM card as I bless your finances wherever you are tonight. Bring out your ATM card. I want to bless your finance. Everyone bring it out. Whatever you need, you want to use in connecting to your finance, please, I would like you to bring it out now as I pray. Thank you, Jesus. As I pray. Bring it out as I pray. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Raise it up now, wherever you are. Raise it up. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare. In the name of Jesus, within 24 hours, let there be a miracle in your life, in your finance. Let there be a miracle. I declare miracle in your finance. Miracle in your finance. Miracle in your finance. You are remembered in 24 hours. You are remembered in 24 hours. You are remembered in 24 hours. Those who forgot you will remember you. Those who made promises to you will fulfill their promises. Those who made promises to you, they will fulfill their promises. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for it is done. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. If you are listening to me, you are under the influence of my voice. Hear this. Prayer is not enough. Get yourself busy. Use your brain. Are you listening to me? Be productive in your mind. Alright? And then involve yourself in covenant practices. Give. Alright? Involve yourself in covenant practices like giving. Give to the orphanage. Give to the poor. Do your tithe. When God blesses you, do your tithe. Your tithe is your 10%. All right. Uh, uh, give it to the Lord. Give it to the Lord. Don't downsize it. Don't downplay it. Don't allow internet sensations and all those things they talk about affect your belief system. Are you listening to me? When God blesses you, do your tithe. It is his own. 
And as you do it, God will always bless you because you are putting him first in your finance. I pray for everyone on this altar who is a giver. I ask that God will remember you and that God will bless you. Every power, every blessing that comes with giving will be your experience in the mighty name of Jesus. You will never be broke. You will never go down in Jesus' name. I pray. Amen. If you are listening and you love to give, you love to plant a seed, you love to drop your tithe, God has blessed you this week and you'll say, Daddy, I want to put my tithe on this altar or I have been doing that. Please go on your news as I speak over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that as you tithe, things will not be tight for you. The blessing that comes with tithing will be your experience. In the mighty name of Jesus, the glory of God will manifest in your finances. In the mighty name of Jesus, what bring other people down financially will not bring you down. You will keep increasing, you will keep improving in the mighty name of Jesus. The devourers that devour others will not devour your own. In Jesus' precious name, I pray. Amen and amen. Let me tell you this. Tithing is powerful. Low. Ask your friend. Ask your neighbor. And tithe is not in the volume. It is in the obedience. One of my son that has been, that shared a testimony. I used to give his testimony. There are other testimonies. but I use him as an example because it's not just about him. It is what I've seen that has worked for a lot of people. Even myself. Are you listening to me right now? So it's about your, the young man said he started with 10 naira, 20 naira and all of that. As at the time he was sharing his testimony, he was already a millionaire. God has blessed him so much. But a day, he, he called, there was a day he sent me a message. He said, Daddy, I want to be financially free. Just tell me what you think I should do. And I shared with him, tight, get something doing, make sure you are focused. And then that's it. He started doing 10 naira, 20 naira, before you know it. As at the time he was sharing his testimony, the young man, God has blessed him so much. God is the God of covenant. He does not fail. He does not lie. We are the one who used to fail. When God bless you, you eat everything before you remember God. It's not like that. He's the one that blessed you. He's the one that, that's why people cannot account for their money. You know, you can't account for the small 10 million naira that entered your hand. Till you finish, you can't even know. You don't even know what you did with it. One million enter, you don't know what you did with it. But when you put it in the hand of God, God will give you ideas on how to multiply it. That's the idea of Titan. It When you put God where first, you can't come last. Glory to God. Please take note, I am going to be in Lagos next week. I'm going to be in Lagos next week by the grace of God. Hallelujah. Next week, Friday, 7 p.m. till dawn. Make sure you register. Go to the uh, uh, our WhatsApp channel and register go to the whatsapp channel and register there is a, a registration so you will as you're coming you'll be able to get your t-shirt everybody will put on t-shirt that night to lagos let's see friday lagos is going to be fire for fire i can't wait to be with you all right 7 p.m till dawn seven anywhere you are in lagos lekki mainland island all right start booking your boat it's going to be powerful amen hallelujah and then I'm already in Asaba, so Asaba, I can't wait to see you, I can't wait to touch you, I can't wait to pray for you, I can't wait to call you out and minister to you, I can't wait, I can't wait, my, my blood is already boiling, and I know that today is your day, if you are in Asaba, Nolge House, Commandant Street, back of NTA, behind Access Bank, off Okmanam Road, alright, that's where we are meeting, if you are in Agbo, you can come, if you are in Onicha, you can come, anywhere you know you can join us, please join. God is waiting to touch your life. And when I see you, heaven will bless you. Sapele, get ready. I'm coming on the 25th for Sapele, Sapele Super Thursday. I'm, I'm visiting Sapele, so get yourself ready. For those that are not aware, we have started preparation for our camp meeting, annual camp meeting. But the announcement will kick off on, on Monday. So get yourself ready for annual camp meeting. The camp meeting this year is not like every other year. We are all coming together anywhere you are, anywhere at all. Coming to, we are all coming together in Port Harcourt to stay for three days, fasting and praying. Go and ask questions of what happens during ta ta camp meeting. Miracles, raw miracles. People come barren 
and they live fruitful. God blesses them. They return with testimony. Those believing God for fruit of the womb, testimonies everywhere. Believing God for marital breakthrough, testimony. You know, our camp meeting is a one-on-one -on -one with God. There's fasting. There are different categories of fasting. We have six to six. We have to, uh, 48 hours, no water, no food. We have uh, three days, all right? No water, no food. Three days, no water, no food. We have six to six. So different categories. And as you come register, they will give you a prayer manual that, uh, that you, you need. Any prayer manual that will help you to pray during the fasting, you will see it there. Hallelujah. And then you'll be able to pray. So get ready this year. Registration link will be dropping by Monday. And we are going to pull it through till June. June 30th, June 28th, 29th and 30th is our camp meeting. I'm having my pastor for the first time in our camp meeting. Pastor Emmanuel Irene will be with us. Choma Jesus, Pastor Philip, uh, Eben, uh, Mercy Shinwo. You know, all of them will be coming for our camp meeting this year. So it's a program that you have to start taking permission from your office. Take permission from your office. And tell your boss that 28, 29, 38, you will not be at work. You want him to excuse you that you want to go and pray. You want to go and seek, seek the face of God. You want to go on a retreat. All right? This is once in a year retreat where you leave everything you are doing and you come and stay in the presence of God. All right? For a change, for a story. Ego does not become ego. Ego has a pattern. He does things. If you're actually going to go far, you must learn to have a retreat, a time to retreat. And this is for everyone following Pastor Greg Vincent. Anywhere you are in Ghana, anywhere, you can start. Pro if you want to be in that meeting, start now. All my sons and daughters in Ghana, those of you in, in African countries, and you know you can really come. Start planning so that you will make it down to Port Harcourt for camp meeting this year. All preparations have begun. But we are going to reel them out by next week. I love you. From the bottom of my heart, I am here to pray with you every night. There won't be prayer tomorrow. There will not be prayer tomorrow. On Monday, we will kick off again. Hallelujah. I love you from the depth of my heart. And I will always pray for you. Let's share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now and forevermore. Surely, goodness, mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Say after me, I shall not die. Say I shall live to declare the words of the Lord. Again, say I shall not die. Say I shall live to declare the words of the Lord. Finally, declare and say I shall not die. Say again, say, I shall live to declare the words of the Lord. Amen and amen and amen. I love you. God bless you. And have a lovely night. See you in church.
I say every cause of poverty in your lineage is neutralized. Can you lift your right and say, my father, my father? As I begin to pray now, every evil water washing away my blessings. Oh, I need someone to take this prayer more serious. Are you ready? Say after me with anger in your spirit. Say, my father... As I open my mouth to pray now, every evil water washing away my blessing, washing away my breakthrough, try all by fire. Try all by fire. Somebody say, by fire. Say, by fire. Shall fire. Shall fire. Fire. Clap your hands and command that water to dry up. Command that water to that evil water. Drying up your breakthrough. Drying up your blessings. Sheketura batalia. Dekesete legade. Try all by fire. Try all by fire. Try all by fire. Try all by fire. Sheketele bagala bagada. Elamande lebo sinamanda. name we pray stretch your hands towards the altar I pray for you that every evil water flowing from your ancestral lineage flowing from your foundation washing away the blessings washing away your breakthrough dries up now in the name of Jesus can I have amen three times one two three lift your right and say father as I pray now Every satanic network against my life, scatter by fire, scatter by fire, scream fire, clap your hands and pray, break, scatter every satanic network. Bible said, Behold, they shall gather, not by me. Whoever that gathers against it, they shall scatter. Every demonic satanic marine network against my life, against my family. Scatter by fire, scatter by fire, scatter by fire, scatter by fire, scatter by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Can I have amen three times? One, two, three. Lift your voice, say, Father, as I pray now, every power destroying good things in my life every power destroying good things in my life what are you waiting for scatter by fire scatter by fire clap your hands and scatter clap your hands and pray clap your hands and pray every power spoiling good things in my life spoiling my business spoiling my marriage spoiling my relationship Spoiling my business, my finance, the good things in my life. Scatter now in the name of Jesus. Scatter somebody, clap your hands. Don't look at your neighbor. 
Don't look at your neighbor. Pray. Don't look at your neighbor. Ereke te barata. Ze kopa te le kata. Ze krate ka sutaria. Raba ba 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 ba. Reke te le kate kate. Ze kata la bakata. E rapata ka sotia. E rapata le akata. Shapa pa 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 kata. In Jesus name we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lift your voice and say father. As I begin to pray. Every satanic pot attached to my glory. Loud as a father. Every satanic pot attached to my glory. Scatter to pieces. Scatter to pieces. Scatter to pieces. Clap your hands and pray, sir. Clap your hands and pray, man. Scatter to pieces. 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 Pray. Here, bara baba baba sh. Anda la baba 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 sh. En zekete lege lege de. Zekete lebre lege lege de. Ye ka bara baba baba baba. Manda la baba baba baba. E kande lebe lege de. E zete lege lege de. A ka bala baba baba. E ka bara lege lege de. E so lege lege de. In Jesus name we pray. I pray for you wherever you are. That every garment the enemy has put on you. Holy Ghost. Every evil garment. Holy Ghost. Garment of shame. Holy Ghost. Garment of delay. Holy Ghost. Garment of embarrassment. Holy Ghost. Garment of rejection. Holy Ghost. I pray for you. Between now and ending of this week, there shall be a testimony in your life. I pray for you that whatever the enemy has planted in your body, anything the enemy has planted in your body expires now. In the mighty name of Jesus, God is sending help your way. In the name of Jesus, God is helping, sending help your way. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. Wave those beautiful hands to Jesus. Wave it, just wave it. Just wave it. Just wave those hands to Jesus. Oh, Raneka Sabalabadia. Mandere Baba Baba Shanda. There is somebody that you applied for a job. You applied for a job. They will call you this week. In the name of Jesus. Anybody moving from one place to the other with your picture. Anybody moving one, they carry your picture from Facebook, carry your picture from WhatsApp. And they are moving your picture up and down to undo you. I pray that it will backfire in Jesus' name. It will backfire in Jesus' name. Is there anybody here you have been noticing some form of disappointment? Some form of disappointment. You have been seeing some form of disappointment. Raise your hand. I pray for you. Every disappointment you have experienced in your life, they are converted to appointment now. Anything the enemy has projected to bring shame to you is overturned in the name of Jesus. Anything the enemy has done to bring shame to your family is overturned in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Every witchcraft manipulation in your life expires now. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you wherever you are. That every covenant your parents entered and you are not aware of it and it is affecting your life that covenant is broken now in the name of Jesus the God that changes the stories of men is changing your story now in Jesus precious name we pray I decree and I declare from today whatever has ever overcome you from this moment I declare shall be under your feet now I hate the way you said the amen it shall be under your feet in the name of Jesus it shall be under your feet in the name of Jesus it shall be under your feet in the name of Jesus before we pray there was a man called John Gillick please keep standing we are praying the man called John Gillick many years ago was in South Africa when a pandemic broke out 
and then there were there was a particular uh, disease that was killing people people were dying and the man a man of God he said please bring he asked them to bring a, uh, the whatever it is that contained that particular disease he said they should examine it in the microscope so that they will know if the disease was still alive so they examined it in the microscope that disease was there in that particular substance he said they should put it in his hand they put it in the hand that thing used to keep people in hours they are dead the man was alive they carried that thing that same thing and examined it again under the microscope that, that those gems died there are sicknesses that should not survive this is the consciousness you should enter from today the consciousness the consciousness is called the superiority consciousness it's not pride it's where I belong it's not pride, it's the level it's where I operate it's not pride, this is where I operate we operate, in. we live in the realm of the supernatural that is where the natural does not live miracles happen there the realm of the supernatural is the realm of success strange results it's the realm of the supernatural strange results somebody here you will have strange results you are going to open your mouth now and confront every devil in your life are you ready now are you ready lift your voice say my father are you ready to pray lift your right and say my father I decree and I declare every devil in my family tormenting my life loud as a tormenting my life your time is up your time is up your time is up expire now expire now in the name of Jesus open your mouth and confront remember you have the power you have the authority there is a there is a a level you now operate young man pray I have the life of Christ in me. He is the endless life. I can never be moved, never be stopped. He is the life of God. I have the life of God in me. He is the endless life. I can never be moved, never be stopped. That's where I live. <laughs> I have the life of God in me. It's the endless life. I can never be moved, never be stopped. That's where I live. Ah! I have the life of God in me. It's the endless life. I can never be moved, never be stopped. It's the endless life. If you're in the studio, help me with this song. That's where I live. I have the life of God in me. Pray! It's the endless life. I can never be moved, never be stopped. That is where I live.
Jesus. That's where I live. I have the life of God in me. It is the endless life. I will never be stopped, never be moved. That's where I live. feet. If your amen is louder than your neighbor's amen, it is yours. Thank you, Father. Now hear me, everyone. This life is not worth it without Christ. If you are not born again, forget it. The newness of life we are talking about is your life in Christ. There is no hope for any man who has not accepted Jesus here on earth. Bible said, if your hope is only in this world, you are of all men most miserable. So if you are here, you are not born again. You may not understand the things we are doing here. I want to call you up here. You are just a church goer. You go to church, but you don't understand the things of the spirit. But you are saying, sir, I want to get myself born again. I want to be born again. I want to accept Jesus. Listen, there is the life you are living now. You will give account of it. Oh. A day will come, all of us will appear before God. And God will ask, What did you do with it? If you are here, you are not born again. All head bowed, all eyes closed. All head bowed. This is a moment of decision. That will lead me to Christ. I want to give my heart to Jesus. I've not been living right. But I think I love to start from somewhere today. Please, if you are sitting down, give God the honor by rising up. Give God the honor, not me. Bow your heads. Daddy, pray for me. I want to give my life to Jesus. There is a way that cements right onto a man. The end of it, the Bible says, the ways of death. If you are listening to me and you want to accept Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, and you really want to stick to it from today, you want to build your spiritual life, you want to start growing, please, no one is looking at you. Put your right hand on your chest. God loves you. Make a decision today if you are that person. Put your right hand on your chest. Daddy, I want to give my life to Christ. I want to accept him as my Lord and personal Savior. Please put your hand on your chest. I can see those of you, your hands are on your chest. The Lord bless you. This is the best decision. Please, quickly, take a step out of your seat and come to the altar. I'm going to count seven. Just quickly, take your seat. Take your, a step out of your seat. Walk down to the altar majestically and embrace this life of Christ. I'm going to count ten, please. Just walking. If you are outside, maybe you are at the overflow or the, uh, what's it called? Anywhere you are. You want to give your heart to Jesus, please quickly come. Quickly come. The best decision anybody can ever make is the decision to follow Jesus. There is a way that seems made right. Please keep coming. Keep coming. On the day of judgment, your father will not be there. Your brother will not be there. Your girlfriend will not be there. Your mother will not be there. Your father will not be there. We all stand. This endless journey, the endless life is what I'm calling you into. Come up here. I'm going to count seven. One, two, three, four, five. There's a young man inside. 
please don't allow today pass without you giving your heart to Jesus. Step out. Your mind is telling you this journey, you need to start it. Sin is a destroyer. Don't allow it pass you today. Don't allow this opportunity pass you. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Thank you, Jesus. Now, those of you outside, you are here because you have made a decision. And this is one of the best decisions you have ever made. Put your right hand on your chest. And please mean every word that I ask you to say. Say after me, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me of all my sins. Remove my name from the book of death. Write them in the book of life. From today, I accept you as my Lord and my Savior. Thank you, Jesus, for dying on the cross for my sake. I give you myself. Take over my life in Jesus' name. I pray for you wherever you are, that you are born again. From today, Satan has lost his hold over you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Pray in the Holy Ghost one more time. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, we worship. I pray for somebody here. Because of the life of Christ, every cause of poverty and lack in your life is destroyed. I say every cause of poverty in your lineage is neutralized. Can you lift your right and say, my father, my father? As I begin to pray now, every evil water washing away my blessings. Oh, I need someone to take this prayer more serious. Are you ready? Say after me with anger in your spirit. Say, my father, as I open my mouth to pray now, every evil water washing away my blessing, washing away my breakthrough, Try all by fire. Try all by fire. Somebody say by fire. Say by fire. Shall fire. Shall fire. Fire. Clap your hands and command that water to dry up. Command that water to that evil water. Drying up your breakthrough. Drying up your blessings. Sheketura Batalia. Try all by fire. Try all by fire. Try all by fire. Try all by fire. Shake the le bagala bagada. Ella mande le bossina manda. Kabala bada 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 ba. name we pray stretch your hands towards the altar I pray for you that every evil water flowing from your ancestral lineage flowing from your foundation washing away the blessings washing away your breakthrough dries up now in the name of Jesus can I have amen three times one two three lift your right and say father as I pray now Every satanic network against my life, scatter by fire, scatter by fire, 
Scream fire. Clap your hands and pray. Break, scatter every satanic network. Bible said, Behold, they shall gather. Not by me. Whoever that gathers against it, they shall scatter. Every demonic, satanic marine network against my life, against my family, scatter by fire. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Can I have amen three times? One, two, three. Lift your voice. Say, Father, as I pray now, every power destroying good things in my life, every power destroying good things in my life, what are you waiting for? Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. Clap your hands and scatter. Clap your hands and pray. Clap your hands and pray. Every power spoiling good things in my life. Spoiling my business. Spoiling my marriage. Spoiling my relationship. Spoiling my business, my finance. The good things in my life. Scatter now in the name of Jesus. Scatter. Somebody clap your hands. Don't look at your neighbor. Don't look at your neighbor. Pray. Don't look at your neighbor. A regate barata. Ze kopate le kata. Ze krate kasutaria. Raba baba baba baba. Regate le kate kate. Ze kata la bakata. E rapata kasutia. E rapate le akata. Shapa baba bakata. In Jesus' name we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lift your voice and say, Father. As I begin to pray, every satanic pot attached to my glory. Loud as a father, every satanic pot attached to my glory, scatter to pieces, scatter to pieces, scatter to pieces. Clap your hands and pray, sir. Clap your hands and pray, man. Scatter to pieces, scatter to pieces. Scatter to pieces, scatter to pieces, scatter to pieces, scatter to pieces. Pray. Here, bara baba baba sh, anda la baba 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 sh. En zekete lege lege de, zekete lebre lege lege de. Ye ka bara baba baba baba, manda la baba baba baba. E kande lebe lege de, e zete lege lege de. A ka bara baba baba, e ka bara lege lege de. In Jesus' name we pray. I pray for you wherever you are. That every garment the enemy has put on you. Holy Ghost. Every evil garment. Holy Ghost. Garment of shame. Holy Ghost. Garment of delay. Holy Ghost. Garment of embarrassment. Holy Ghost. Garment of rejection. Holy Ghost. I pray for you. Between now and ending of this week, there shall be a testimony in your life. I pray for you that whatever the enemy has planted in your body, anything the enemy has planted in your body expires now. In the mighty name of Jesus, God is sending help your way. In the name of Jesus, God is helping, sending help your way. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Wave those beautiful hands to Jesus. Wave it. Just wave it. Just wave it. Just wave those hands to Jesus. There is somebody that you applied for a job. You applied for a job. They will call you this week. In the name of Jesus. Anybody moving from one place to the other with your picture. Anybody moving one, they carry your picture from Facebook, carry your picture from WhatsApp, and they are moving your picture up and down to undo you. I pray that it will backfire in Jesus' name. It will backfire in Jesus' name. Is there anybody here you have been noticing some form of disappointment? Some form of disappointment. You have been seeing some form of disappointment. Raise your hand. I pray for you. Every disappointment you have experienced in your life, they are converted to appointment now. 
Anything the enemy has projected to bring shame to you is overturned in the name of Jesus. Anything the enemy has done to bring shame to your family is overturned in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Every witchcraft manipulation in your life expires now. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you wherever you are. That every covenant your parents entered and you are not aware of it. And it is affecting your life. That covenant is broken now. In the name of